Hello everyone. This video is an easy instruction on how to build a birdhouse on yourself with a webcam inside. Well, all the bird lovers, they might set up birdhouses for the birds to nest in. They might wonder if we can put like a webcam inside to watch what's going on inside. Well, the answer is yes. Uh, you can find the blueprints to build a birdhouse online. We don't have a, a detailed instruction here. Now let's take a look at the materials and design for the birdhouse we want to build. First let's talk about the materials. The materials we usually recommend to use untreated materials so that way the wood will not contain you know, some harmful chemicals to the birds. And the wood we use here is cheddar. We usually recommend cheddar and redwood. These two are the most close to natural woods and they are weather resistant so like it can handle a lot of different weathers. If you can't find cheddar or redwood, you can use some pine as well. Although pine doesn't last that long like these cheddar and redwoods. And also remember to build your birdhouse on a panel because it has to sometimes be planted outside. And if you have a panel on it, under it, it will enhance its structure and make it last through a lot of nasty weathers. Now let's talk about the design. You see that birdhouse we have here, it's a pretty good picture of how we should design our birdhouses. First you can see that the roof is bigger than the whole birdhouse, so then the, when it's raining, the water will run down through the roof and not leak inside. We have to make sure that waterproof is a certain thing we have to consider, because if water contacts with our camera, our camera might get compromised. And also, there needs to be a slightly slope on the rooftop, so the water can run down it. Another thing is, you can see right here, another thing is, you can see right here, there will be some gaps when you close the roof. In order to seal these gaps, we can use some 3M double side tapes. Once we to apply the tape here, we can just close it and the tape will seal the roof and the whole bird box very tightly. And also, right here you can see our camera. And right here there is a notch that we plant the cables that come out. We have to make sure the cables are always lower than the camera horizontally. So the water won't drip with the cable to the camera. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the basic designs. Now let's talk about some designs that will benefit the birds. But first of all, we can see the entrance here. The entrance here, we have, there are three different common sizes. The smallest one is a 25 millimeter in diameter entrance. These entrances are for like small birds like blue tits. They enter the here and you know, they can nest inside. Uh, slightly bigger ones for like giant tits or tree, tree sparrows. Those go into 28 millimeters in diameter entrances. And for our very big um, house sparrows and also the woodpeckers, we would recommend a 32 millimeters diameter entrance. And we have to kind of know which kind of bird we want to attract because if we leave a very big entrance that you know most of the birds can come in, larger birds will invade the tiny bird's nest. It's, that's not what we want to see. After I talk about the entrance, let's take a look at the internal designs. So first here you can see there are kind of groovers on the side of the wall. The side, the front panel is removable also. What's good about the front panel being removable? Well, it's easier for us to clean after the birds leave for, and live there for a long time. We can just open it here and take all the dirty things out. And also, the groovers here, you can see it on this one, can help tiny baby birds climb the, to the entrance because sometimes when they're still small, they're not good, that good at flying to the entrance and getting out. And also, on the bottom here, you can see there are little holes for draining and ventilation. This will keep the whole birdhouse dry and comfortable. Also, in some places where there are a lot of insect infestations, we have these meshed wired nets down here. These will have, protect our baby birds or the eggs from uh, infestations of insects. Some insects, they will kind of harm the baby birds, so that will kind of be like a barrier between them. 
Also, we should leave a hole right here on the side for some extra light source to go in. So if we have a camera in there, we can get a clear look. So this right here is our Wi-Fi bird box camera. Also, you can say it's the webcam. This is specially designed to put in small bird boxes like this because you can see the size is really tiny compared to my hand. And also, the wireless features transmits the data, the signal in a digital form so we can easily access it with a lot of other mobile devices. And also, the digital signals allow the image to be very high definition resolution so we can get a very clear image of the birds. Even closest up, we can watch how detailed the feathers are. And as for the camera, there are four infrared LEDs around here. So when it's dark around, some birds might still be active. In this case, the infrared will give us the ability to see clearly during the dark times. And you don't have to worry because people who know infrared, they know that there might be red little dots. But in this case, we use the infrared in special wavelength. This wavelength is barely visible to see. Also, we have microphones built in this camera. So the microphone allows us to hear the tweeting of the birds. So you can also hear the joyful tweets while watching them. And also, we have adjustable lenses. Adjustable lenses allow us to you know, move the position of the camera once in a while and still get clear images. If it's a fixed cam uh, camera lens, then we can't really afford to move it a lot because we have to make sure the focus length is always fixed. And also, there is motion detector in, for this camera. So when we don't have any more time to sit around and watch the camera, we can turn on the motion detector. And then whenever there's activity or movements in front of the camera, it will send us an alarm or notification to our phone. And this time, we can just like open the app and watch it. It's pretty simple and convenient. And say you don't have time to watch the exciting moments instantly, we can always use the recording feature to f watch the moments again. So the recordings will go to the SD card that is simply just inserted here. When it's inserted, the recordings will automatically start and they will save it on the SD card. There are all a lot of other ways to install it in massive hard disk drives too. So yeah, that's pretty much it about our Bird Box camera. So if you have any more questions, please leave them at the section below. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.